May is here and it's time for me to set up my monthly view in my target planner. So if you have this planner and you've been looking for ideas on how to set up your monthly view, then keep watching as I share with you how I set up mine. As you know, May is the month of Mother's Day and you can see the sticker page here. I pulled this from a recollection sticker book which I purchased from Michaels. It is Mother's Day themed and it has lots of floral pieces and then the May header down at the bottom of the sticker page. And then I pulled two rolls of washi this month. One is a gold washi with transparent hearts and the other is a beautiful floral which will tie in all of the colors from the stickers. So I just pull my pages out of the binder and I'm trying to decide which sticker I want to begin with. And I decide to go ahead and begin with the easiest thing, which is the header. However, this washi is a little bit transparent and because of that, the dark blue words at the top of each page that say a month of will show through the washi. So I went ahead and grabbed my whiteout roller and just simply whited out those words. And now I'm able to place down my transparent washi in those two areas. And this will act as a page header. Now I'm just cutting off the ends with my scissors and then because I just put one full strip across both pages, I just cut in the center of the washi to separate each page. And now I'm able to take my May header and place this on top of that washi on the left side there. And it does hang off the page just a little bit, so I just take my scissors and cut off the excess part of the sticker. I decide to use my green pen this month to tie in the little bit of green that is going on throughout the stickers. And I'm just writing in the dates as this is an undated planner. And then I'm taking this floral washi and I'm going to be putting three strips across those three leftover, well, th two and two halves, <laughs> um, those squares on the bottom right hand corner that don't have a date in them. I'm just going to place down three strips of washi to create a kind of decorative area since I don't really need that space to write anything for the month. Once that's down, I just cut a few strips of this same washi and I place that down on Mother's Day to kind of give it a little bit more decoration and you guys know I like to layer up my washi and my stickers and that's exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm taking the gold washi and placing a strip of that on top of the floral washi and I think this gives it a little something something um, a little bit extra for the holidays by placing that down. My eye will be drawn to it and it's just something special to notate and signify a holiday. So of course that is Mother's Day there and that sticker says Happy Ma uh, Mother's Day. And then I'm doing the same thing for Cinco de Mayo. There's no Cinco de Mayo sticker in on this kit or <laughs> this sticker page, but I'm going to go ahead and notate it anyway as there is no sticker for Memorial Day, which I'm doing the same exact method for that holiday as well. And then I will just write in those two holidays using my green pen there. We have quite a few birthdays in our extended family to celebrate. And because of that, I'm taking a strip of this heart washi and I'm just cutting out one heart to signify a birthday. And because my my husband has 13 siblings. You can imagine how many birthdays we often have per month. So I thought this was a good way to notate birthdays this month since this sticker sheet didn't have anything specific for notating birthdays. I thought this was a good solution for that.
I'm taking the same green pen, which is a Paper Mate Flare. Some people do ask that, and that's what I love to use. So I went ahead and wrote in everything that I know is going on so far this month, and now I'm starting to take more of those deco pieces. Now that I have everything written in, I can place some of these pieces around the pages. I'm layering up the green sticker that says, Mother, Dear, I Love You, and then this red sticker that says, Mom, down in the right-hand corner on top of that washi area that I created. And then I'll be placing some more of the stickers down, but first I wanted to put a piece of this floral washi behind the sticker that I'm about to place down just to give it a little bit more anchoring, I guess. So now that that washi is down, I can place the Love You Most sticker on top of that. This one says, my mom is my best friend, and I'm just placing that down on that washi area. And then I'm placing this one that says, beautiful. And then there are these circular stickers. These are really pretty. They're white with a black script, and then they have sort of a floral wreath around the outer edge of the circle. And so these say, give thanks, grateful hearts, life is beautiful, and count your blessings. So I'm just spreading those around both pages to kind of balance out the stickers throughout. Now it's time for me to place down all of these floral pieces, and I do like to keep these in little clusters so that it doesn't overwhelm the monthly view, and I do this in my weekly spreads as well. I usually like to keep my, my decorative stickers in little groups, cluster them together, so that I can keep lots of space for my functional planning. I do appreciate creative planning as much as I do functional planning, and I like finding a happy medium where I can enjoy both of those kind of planning. I know that some people prefer just functional and some prefer just decorative, but I like both. And so this clustering the decorative pieces together allows me to save lots of space for my functional writing and any other functional stickers I add throughout the month or the week if this were a weekly layout. So don't be afraid to add decorative elements into your functional planning. I think it can be a lot of fun and it's just visually stimulating and it's a lot of fun to create special unique layouts and monthly views this way. Now with this last floral piece, I am all done with all of the stickers on the page. And I've already pre-planned by writing everything I know that is going on so far into each little square. And now I can place it back on the rings. If you are someone who likes to change out your binder covers and or your inserts often to keep things fun and fresh, that sounds like an 80s word, but you know what I mean, <laughs> exciting, then this might be the planner for you. Target often releases new inserts, and then there are always multiple choices for your binder cover to choose from, and so it's a great option for those of you who do like to change things out. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried this planner and what your thoughts about it are or were. I'd love to hear from you. And so with that, my month is all set up and I'm ready to enjoy May. I hope that you have a great month and I will see you in the next video.